We got Cherry 7-Up, okay? Sugar-free. But we got some with sugar just in case you like sugar. You see what I'm saying? So I just... Oh my god, I can't believe he just did this. He really is gonna put both sugar-free and regular Cherry 7-Up together. You put so much sugar in there already. What's the point? What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go check this out. Mango wine, strawberry wine, blueberry wine. Please don't tell me he brought glass to the pool. Safety, come on. You cannot bring glass to the pool because if it breaks and falls into the pool, you can't see it. And the only way you can get rid of it is if you drain the pool completely. Once again, do not bring glass to the pool. This is a safety hazard. And he almost drops one of the bottles. Also, this igloo has wheels on it. Why is he building this? by the pool instead of in the kitchen and then just wheel it out. That's what the wheel is for. So you can move it around. With some apple slices, homeboy. Okay, I guess we have two apples left over. What if you want a whole one? Why is there, why did he not cut those? That makes no sense. Why is it even around the pool? Now we can hit this with some Everclear. Silver rum. We can follow that rum up with some peach snaps. Now I come behind this with some coconut rum. What flavor profile is he going for? He just putting random stuff in here. A coconut rum. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna follow it up with some sour apple paco. Delicious. Really, sour apple and coconut? You think this is a, there's no rhyme or reason to any of these flavor profiles. Of course, he's making a mess. Why is he doing that? Dude, shaking it is not gonna make it come out faster and you're just gonna make a mess. In fact, shaking it is probably gonna make it come out slower. Watermelon schnapps, okay? You got to keep it. Watermelon sugar, ah. Watermelon sugar, ah. How hard is it to make a drink without making a mess? Just pour it in there, don't shake it all over the place. When you see the wine punch, this is the official jungle juice thing right here, wine punch. It gives it a beautiful red color. Which is food coloring. Honestly, does he not know that this is all food coloring? It's red because of red food coloring. That's it. There's no magic behind this. It's on the ingredients label. Now this one right here, this is zero sugar citrus punch. I believe. You put so much sugar in there already. This is not gonna make any difference by putting sugar-free beverage. That's like making a drink with both Coke and Diet Coke. What does that do? Especially when the drink itself was already laden with calories. We got Cherry 7-Up, okay? Sugar-free. But we got some with sugar just in case you like sugar, you see what I'm saying? So I just, oh my God, I can't believe he just did this. I just made a joke about this and he really is gonna put both sugar-free and regular Cherry 7-Up together. What's the point? It's already full of sugar. Now coming in with a little bit of lemonade, okay? Why is he adding these after the ice? What was the reason to add certain ingredients before the ice and then other ingredients after the ice? This doesn't make any sense. Is he just adding it because it wasn't filled to the top? So he's just adding random stuff just to top it off? And there you have it, the Candyman jungle juice, okay? What? You know... <laughs> For a tipsy bartender drink that is called Candyman Jungle Juice, there is a surprisingly no candy. So why did he call it Candyman Jungle Juice if there's no candy? Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave it in the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.